Here's a retirement problem, um, but in this case, instead of what oftentimes we'll solve for either a PV or an FV, here we want to solve for the amount that can be withdrawn. And so for this problem, we actually know how much is in the retirement account, so we have a PV, and we're trying to figure out how much can we be withdrawn. And so we know that there's the plan to withdraw N equals 21. Um, of these uh, payments. We want them to be equal, so we're just trying to figure out what the amount is. All right, so let's draw a timeline to describe what's going on. And so we want the first withdrawal to happen one year from today, so this is going to be set up as an ordinary annuity. And so I'm going to uh, call this amount, uh, well, I'll just call it PMT. We know that the PV at time zero is equal to $901,000. And then at the end of this retirement period, we want nothing left. Okay, Okay. so what, what's your uncle going to do? Your uncle is going to swap this amount for this series of payments. Okay, so this is uh, the present value of an ordinary annuity. So there's the present value. What we're trying to find is the annuity payment amount. All right, so I'm going to use the financial calculator to solve this problem. And so let's look and think about what needs to go in here. All right, so um, I am going to enter a PV. That's 901000 I have an FV that I know is going to be zero. I know that there are 21 payments, so 21 goes into N. And then I also know that 6.3% is the discount rate, so 6.3 goes into I. All right, um, zero is FV. There's nothing left over when all is done, and now I just need to compute the payment. Okay, so now think about what 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 sign I'm going to expect here. I'm going to expect a negative sign for the payment. Payment's going to come out negative because of the sign convention of your calculator. Nine hundred one thousand will be like a deposit into the account, and the payment would be a withdrawal. So I'm going to compute payment and there I have it. So your uncle has access to $78,532.67 per year for 21 years. So there's the answer and of course report that to me as a positive value.